When did you first start taking steroids? Yeah, so I um, I first started taking steroids when I was, um, so the f- very first time, it was in graduate school at Berkeley, uh, and I did a, a, a like 16-week cycle and came off, did PCT, everything, didn't touch them again until after Carter was born. So I I dabbled in them, I guess you would say, when I was in graduate school, so I was in my um, mid to late twenties, mid twenties. And, and then after I came off and Krista and I knew we wanted to have a child eventually, I didn't want to potentially fuck with that. So I vowed to not use them again until after I had a kid. Then after I had a kid, it was fucking off to the races. Um, and so that's exactly what I did. I waited until uh, I was basically 30 years old until I used them again, and that's when I started. I'm 33 now, so I've been using steroids for about three years. And when I say that, I'm also talking about, for the majority of that time, being on like a TRT dose. You know, So I do what's called blasting and cruising. Um, so cruising is when you're just... It makes it sound so cool, like I'm driving on a California yeah, Pacific yeah. highway. Yeah, it, well, it's <laughs> kind of cool. Um, <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, so during the cruise period, you just take essentially an amount of exogenous hormone that produces the normal level in your body. So that's what you're doing with TRT, right? Yeah. You're only like 150, 200 migs per week of test. 100. Sip. 100. Okay. Yeah. Even. Yeah. So you're, you're, um, you're replicating what your body would produce as a healthy male in his peak production of testosterone. Um, and then I go through blast periods where I increase that amount. And um, by how much? It depends on what I'm trying to do. So for me, I'm usually in the range of anywhere from 600 to 900 migs of test per week, and then maybe something else on top of that. Is um, that one shot, two shots a week? I do two shots a week because I use long esters. Got it. It, c- it could be a shot every day or a shot every other day if sure. you're using a short ester like a propionate or something like yeah. that. I don't like to bother with a bunch of fucking shots, you know, because... Do you have to switch sites? Cheek, mm-hmm. cheek, delt, delt? Cheek, cheek, delt, delt, quad, quad. Got it. Yeah. And, um, you know, people ask me why I do it. I mean, I honestly, I have always been fascinated with human performance, knowing what the human body can do. I'm a big believer in live and let live. And you do with your body as you want. I'll do with my body as I want. I choose to use steroids for that reason. Um, and I have the knowledge to do it safely and to monitor my blood work. And, you know, th- there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And I always... On my social media and stuff, I'm very open about it because the last thing I want is some kid, yeah, you know, deciding to do it and then just fucking up their endocrine system. So I always do Q and A's about it, and I'm like, look, I'm not a medical doctor, but I will try to guide you in the right direction. If you're gonna do this shit with or without my advice, I'd rather give you my advice because I've kind of fucking been there, and um, I think there's a big taboo surrounding anabolic steroids and it's funny because i'll talk to guys who are on trt and they're like oh no i'm not on steroids i'm like yeah you are yeah yeah you are and then (laughs) you're just on less steroids you are on steroids and then people on steroids again take out orals out of the scenario take out whatever but your nfh your siphonate whatever Mm -hmm. you're just a you're increasing the volume of the already produced test you know chemical in your body you know the, the hormone um interesting enough so TRT, for everyone, testosterone replacement therapy is what we're, what we're talking about. They're literally, so when I decided to get on it, I was like, okay, this is what the doc was telling me about. Like, I rewind back in my head, and, you know, it was after probably like nine months of me like, why am I getting so tired? Like, 16-hour days, I used to do that in my sleep. Like, I would used to fucking vlog and, and IGTV myself in here at 3 a.m. in the morning, just crushing. I'm like, and now I'm exhausted. And... And the first thing I did, I called everyone in my ecosystem that I consider like a one percenter. They make crazy money, way more successful than I am, and they're in their 40s. And I'm like, I know you fuckers have the best of the best. Who do you go to? Where is it at? Blah, blah, blah. So like you do your research. Currently right now, what would you say to someone? Because when I was in college, I used it back in the day. It was off of the bodybuilding.com forums. It was called Axial Labs. I would purchase from Axial Labs, and I would Western Union the money, and it would be sent to me in the in the mail, which inst- instantly is federal mail fraud. Like you cannot do that. Oh, that's yeah. that's a no no. Um, and and then I would resell to kids in college, and 
I'm sitting here, I'm doing this highly illegal thing. I'm doing all this in college because I, I want to be able to say at the bar that I bitched your fucking offensive line in, in flight football and because I was really into the weight room, right? Like, that's why I did it. And now I fast forward, I do it's like, because I need the energy and I, I need that vigor since I fucked with my fire, pre, you know, I fucked with my endocrine system at yep. such a young age. What do you recommend for people who are uh, looking to get into this at the college age? What is your recommendation for them when they technically don't need to? And then at like our age in the 30s. Yeah, I mean, my look, always on the record, my recommendation at the college age is to not get into it. Just period. I mean, chances are you probably have unfulfilled potential you know, with, with your own natural test production and, and, um, you know, the only time, the only time I, and I don't even want to say I would consider it because still like that's, I'm not telling anybody to use exogenous hormones. If you're a competitive bodybuilder who has a serious shot at being something, then consider it. And, and, um, still I would go, you can go to a clinic and, um, get prescribed TRT fairly easily. I mean, as long as your levels are um, not just like astronomical. Um, M- most clinics are going to get right to you. We're gonna, you're going to leave there with, with your own vials. It's, it's yes. kind of like the, the, the uh, weed clinics in <laughs> California before recreation <laughs> yeah, was legal. You definitely have depression, sir. Yeah, you, exactly, need, you need this. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but look, I highly encourage, if you're in your mid-20s, man, I mean, fuck, just enjoy that shit because there will come a time when it all – comes to a screeching halt and, and you feel as though you need it. Right. Um, 